Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little hush or shh, shh. things you're not supposed to know about, but you're going to find out today. Holy Spirit for the collective, guys. Don't forget, pick a card, leave a card. Everything may not be for you. I might, I may pull out five cards, but all five may not be for you. Maybe just one. You know what I mean? So just surf with me. Surf with me and tap into your energy. Holy Spirit, what is going on that the collective needs to know about? I'm going to let the cards pull. Holy Spirit, what is going on? Is didn't I say five cards? One, two, three, five cards came out. Let's get this party started, right? Somebody separated, like they don't live with their person anymore. But I'm available, but not legally. So they can play with you. Y'all can have a good time, but you can't marry this person. Even if you know if that's what you thought. You can't marry this person. They're just separated. They're just just out the house right now this person is just out the house probably got their own apartment whatever they're doing and then they're trying to figure out what they're going to do guilt keeps this person from you because see they're still married right but love is what always brings them back it's like guilt makes them separate and divide love brings them back right so you could be separated from your person. Or they could be separated from somebody and they're guilty about it, but they still love you, right? So guys, feel free to flip it. You move this person in ways they cannot explain. And I keep silent. They don't say much because it's easier than explaining my life. So your person's married. And you probably didn't know it. And so what they do is they get hush-hush. They get quiet, like, shh. <laughs> so they don't have to explain anything. And then they just kind of sit you over here so they can preserve that relationship without making you either run away or get away from them. And there's a lot about my past that I kept from you. Yeah, like your marriage. They kept their marriage from them. Let's see if I can get this person to confess. Let's go with it. I just wanted to see what confessions were in this in this set. Holy Spirit. What is going on, guys? I'm going to let the cards pick. Holy Spirit. Or they let the energies pick. Oh, they don't want to confess. <laughs> of course not. All right. One confession. Two. Three. Four. Oh. They go. What? That one flipped completely. All right. I think we got six. No, we got five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's go with the first one that's over. There's two. Friends are encouraging this person to reach out to you. Now that they're separated, the friends are like, well, call. Call. You know, just see what's going on. Um, they see you as a great friend. They don't think that you two belong together, right? That's how they feel. But the friends are encouraging them to reach out. My last re relationship tore me apart mentally. So whatever they're separated from, it just it killed them, right? And they said, what's the point of all of this? What are we doing? Why are we here again? This person doesn't know what to do with you. I wish I was more vulnerable and open to your feelings. Yeah. See, they like you, but not enough, right? Because they're like, well, why are we here again? Their last relationship tore them apart. They could be in their feelings, but I'm not going to give them a pass. I'm not going to make up something, you know? Uh, but they did say you are a great friend. I don't think we belong together. So, guys, if you don't hear anything else out of this reading, hear that. 
hear that. And although their friends like you and their friends are encouraging them to reach out, they're still friends owning you kind of a way. But they do love you. They have love for you because you move them in some type of a way. Some type of a way you move this person in ways they cannot explain. But I think because their last relationship was horrible, maybe they just can't do this. Holy Spirit, what's going on? But they're still married anyway, so don't get too caught up. Holy Spirit. <laughs> They know if they come back to you, they know, they could be telling their friends, well, if I go back, I have to tell this person my truth, right? They have to tell you, tell you their truth. They could see a ten of cups with you, but they're still, they're still scared about not thinking it's going to work. They have a lot of secrets about their past relationship, which I told you about, like possibly married, um, or maybe you didn't know that. They feel like they can't offer you anything right now. This is the Emperor in Reverse, and you're a Queen of Wands. You're very passionate. You're very creative. You're very focused. You know, all of those things. And they just feel like they can't offer you anything right now. Emperor in Reverse. King of Wands in Reverse. This person, They don't know what to say to you, but they've also been around and I, yeah, yeah, right? King of Wands. So it could have been sexual to them. Maybe they're telling their friends that it was just sexual to them. I don't know. It looks like you're moving on, though. And your person, they're trying to heal. They're trying to heal from all these secrets and they have a lot of regrets because now I think they're at the point where they can't offer you anything, but they're tired of fighting. They're tired of putting you in competition with other people. Um, they wish they was more vulnerable to your feelings. It's like they feel bad. They don't know what to say to you right now. This person's frustrated. And you moved on. You you moved on. You're doing you. It looks like you pulled your feelings back. Possibly because they pulled their feelings back. Yeah. They regret betraying you though. They do regret that. You're the Queen of Swords. Upright. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. So you're very smart, very perceptive. Um... And eventually, you probably, it looks like you just kind of moved on. But their friends are encouraging them to reach out because they're separated now. Holy Spirit, what is this person's truth? What do they want to say? Other than what I said. What do they want to say? Knight of Swords. They may rush in to come and talk to you. Because, see, they're not happy where they're at now. They're bored. They're bored. Don't forget they're living alone, too. The Magician in Reverse. The Moon card in Reverse. Knight of Pentacles. This person was unreliable. They just kept a lot of secrets from you. A lot of things hidden from you. Definitely unreliable. But they do want to offer you, it's probably they want to offer you a new love offer after they get divorced. But I don't think they're going to offer you anything before that. So they see you, it's like four wands in reverse. So they're possibly getting a divorce. They would have to come and tell you, they have to come and tell you a lot of truth, a lot of things. Yeah. They do want to come and celebrate with you and be happy with you. They definitely want to come and talk to you. This is a King of Pentacles. You could have moved on uh, to a King of Pentacles. Like Three of Wands. You could have walked away. You may already be in a connection, some of you.
this emperor here in reverse is trying to change. They do love you, but they also have a choice of lovers, right? They're trying to decide what they want to do. They also have regrets. They see you reaping your rewards. They see your life is coming together, right? And they regret that. They're not a hangman, though. They see you standing in your strength. They see that you didn't, okay, you're not in hangman. And that you just didn't sit in it. Like you just kept going. This person. They know you're taking your love away because they were they involved other people. But it looks like they're taking their love away. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're tired of fighting. Yeah, they're tired of fighting. Ten of Pentacles. So your person may end up getting a divorce and try to come back to you. King of Swords. It's going to be a head over heart decision for them. But they're fighting it because of their past relationship. Um... They've been through a lot. But, oh well. People put themselves through things, right? Anything else, spirit? So they just kind of keep quiet, but they need to come and tell you their truth. There's the Empress in reverse. Who they thought, they probably thought this was their emotional fulfillment. Let's see. Yep. And then here you are. So they offer their love to an Empress in reverse. But this Queen of Pentacles here, you're their emotional fulfillment. They want new beginnings, a new world. I don't know, guys. I don't know what you're going to do with this one. Good luck, right? Good luck. Holy Spirit. They're going to take this leap of faith. There's the fool card. Because there was no victory in their last relationship. They want to balance things with you. But they're still having delays. They're still having some type of delay. Something's not balanced in their life. Oh, this person's still out there. Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. So guys, be careful. When they do come back, they're not offering you anything but a quick lay. A romp in the hay. They're not offering you anything. So you should keep going. They're coming back to you. But when they do, guys, they're probably going to break your heart. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They're probably going to break your heart. You should keep going. Holy Spirit. Remember they said you are a great friend and I don't think we belong together, right? If you don't remember anything else, remember that. Holy Spirit. Gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So you're about to get some gifts, guys. So open your arms, right? And comfort. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart heal. So you, you will heal from this. Um, this person don't want nothing. They don't. They say they do, but they don't. Because they're still in the Knight of Wands in reverse energy and Knight of Cups, which means they're not offering you anything. And that's that in and out energy where they're just going to come and get what they can get and probably go back to their apartment. Who the hell knows? They're in the middle of a divorce or actually separated, but they may get a divorce. They may not. I'll say it again. They may get a divorce. They may not. So pay attention to that, guys. And they keep quiet because there's a lot about them that you didn't know and you probably just found out now. Thanks for watching. I may log on again later today, guys, and do some more videos, but I have a lot of stuff I need to do. Yeah, but I may get back on. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.